ordinary women trying to save women's lives. But we were criminals. We were felons. For most of the nation, in 72, abortion was illegal. We had to go underground. The woman would be given the address to the front. It was probably obvious to neighbors what was going on. We came to the surface from other things, the anti-war movement, the civil rights movement. You couldn't not pay attention to what was going on. Fetal death is murder. You could not work as a pregnant woman. If you weren't married, you were out of luck. They were terrible situations. The septic abortion word was full every day. Women did awful things. They were literally dying because they were women. So we thought we can be of use. I said, we could use my phone, but change it so that they don't ask for Eleanor. How about Jane? Nobody's called Jane anymore. We had the phone numbers on bulletin boards around Chicago. Pregnant called Jane. The clientele included daughters, wives, mistresses of police, state's attorney, judges. It dawned on me how big an issue this was. Jane was an outrageous undertaking by a lot of smart women. I was not there to pass judgment. I knew there were women like me. Under the radar of the Chicago Mafia and police department. We were all being watched. The phone rings. A man says, we know where you are. There were 11 counts of conspiracy to commit abortion. 110 years for each of us. So that's a long time. That might have ended Jane right then and there. I couldn't see myself sitting on the sidelines. We were building a new world, one woman at a time. Sometimes you have to stand up to illegitimate authority, and sometimes they're unjust laws that need to be challenged. Yeah.